Hi guys! Welcome to Behind Your Life TV again. So, we're going to discuss another topic in Hugot Sipnayan. We're going to discuss factoring perfect square trinomial. We're done with greatest common factor, difference of two square. Now, we're going to deal with the third topic for factoring, which is factoring perfect square trinomial. So, simulan natin guys. So, for our topic, we're going to have perfect square trinomial. So, we're going to choose again the series mode. So, let's have series mode. So seven type, different types of factoring. Those are the following. We'll, we already have some discussion on greatest common monomial. Followed by difference of 2 square. Now, we're going to deal with the third topic. Which is perfect square trinomial. For our objective, we're going to determine the process in factoring perfect square trinomial. Followed by solving some expressions that deals with that type of expressions. Let's have some recall. Perfect square trinomial is just the reverse of a square of binomial. So, ang square of binomial, pagkakatandaan nyo guys, ay bahagi ng tinatawag nating special product. Ano nga ulit ang special product? Ang special product ay yung mga product ng special cases ng binomial to binomial, binomial to trinomial, or multiplying polynomial to polynomial, by which yung kanilang product ay madaling isold o madaling makita. For this perfect square trinomial, ito po yung pattern na ginagamit natin. We have x plus y, x plus y, which tend to be quantity x plus y squared. And after we try to multiply them using this pattern, makuha po natin yung x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Ano ba yung rule natin dito? Ang rule natin, yung first term ay i-square natin, yung second term i-square natin para makuha yung last term, at yung product po nung dalawang first term at second term noong binomial multiply by 2 ang kanilang middle part o kanilang middle term. So, let's have some example. Magre-recall tayo ng square of binomial using the FOIL method. The FOIL method stands for first, outer, inner, last. Tulad ng mga previous discussion natin, it, since ito po ay binomial to binomial na pag-multiply, pwede po natin gamitin yung tinatawag nating FOIL method. So, FOIL method start with first, outer, inner, and last. So, meron po tayo itong a plus 4 times a plus 4 or a plus 4 squared. So, let's start with the first. First is a times a. So, we're going to deal with the first term. So, first term is said to be an a times a, a squared, followed by the outer. We have a times 4 or 4a, followed by the inner, 4 times a again, or 4a, followed by the last terms of the binomials, 4 times 4. That's why we have come up with 16. We're going to combine the like terms. Ang like terms natin, guys, ay yung outer, lagi, at saka inner. Pagsasamahin natin siya. Nung pinagsama natin, naging siyang 8a. Ibig sabihin, by summary, ang sagot po natin ay a squared, plus 8a plus 16. After natin isimplify yung ating equation. Or expression, rather. Ano ba yung rules ng square of binomial? Kasi yung yung FOIL method, siya yung long method. Medyo matagal. 
Now we're going to deal with the rule, the rules for square root binomials. So try natin. So meron tayong x plus y, quantity x plus y squared. Pag ginamit natin to rule na to, lalabas yung factor natin na x squared plus 2x plus y squared. Ngayon i-apply natin yung rule na yon. So, we're going to find the product of a plus 4 times a plus 4, or tatawag natin a plus 4 squared, quantity a plus 4 squared. Pag ginamit natin to rule na to, magsasubstitute tayo. Si x ay papalta natin ng a, si y ay papalta natin ng 4. So, pag pinalta natin sila, so, makikita nyo dito, lahat ng x, pinalta natin ng a. Lahat ng y, pinalta po natin ng 4. So, a squared times 2a4 minus 4. After simplifying, we come up with the same answer na ginamit natin sa FOIL method. So, napakadali nito. Pagdating naman natin sa... Sa perfect square trinomial, babalik ta rin natin. Mula dito, kukunin naman natin ito. O para sa ating recall, kailangan natin alalahanin ulit o tandaan ulit yung mga square ng mga number. So we have a times a is a squared. So ibig sabihin, yung 1 times 1 ay 1. Ang 2 times 2 ay 4. Ang 3 times 3 ay 9. Ang 4 times 4 is 16, and so on and so forth. Kung napansin nyo dito, ito po yung mga number dito. Siya po yung natawag na base form. Pag in-square natin ng mga yon, ito pong linyang ito, ang tinatawag naman nating squared number. So kung napapansin nyo po, binigyan ko po kayo ng mga detalya niyan para matandaan ninyo kung ano pa talaga yung mga squared number at hindi. So let's have some example. Apply natin siya. So, dito, ang pagmumultiply natin ay x minus 4, x minus 4. Pag ginamit natin rule ng square of binomial, we will come up with the pattern. So, square muna yung first term, kaya po tayo nagkamera ng x squared. Square the second term, kaya po tayo naging nagkamera ng negative 4 squared. Tapos yung gitna, product ng dalawa times 2. After natin i-substitute siya sa ating problem or sa ating equation, ito yung magiging sagot natin. x squared minus 8x plus 16. Pag in-apply natin siya sa, sa remaining e equation natin, we have 2y minus 1 squared o 2y minus 1 times 2y minus 1. Guys, tandaan nyo dito, kung ano yung ginamit mong x, kung ito man ay negative, negative, kung ito ay positive, positive, para magtama ang ating sagot. By applying ito our equation, kukunin natin ang square ng y squared. Sorry, ng, ng 2y. Kaya naging kameron tayo ng quantity 2y squared. Kukunin natin ang square ng negative 1, kaya tayo nagkameron dito ng negative 1. For the middle part, 2 times 2y times negative 1. In-apply lang natin yung rules natin for square of binomial. Ano nga, ano nga ulit yung rules na yun? Ang sabi sa rule, i-square natin ang first term, i-square ang second term pa sa last term, at kunin ang product ng dalawa, at i-multiply sa 2 para sa ating middle term. So, after natin i-multiply, ito po ang lalabas. For the last term, ganun din. Para sa ating last term, ganun din ang ating gagawin. So, meron tayong 2z and 5y as our first term and second term. O, dito, 2z times 2z, 4z squared. 5y times 5, 5y times 5y, kaya po 25y squared. Yung gitna, 2z times 5y is 10zy times 2, 20zy. So, dapat po ito ay... Positive. 
Ayan. Medyo nagkakamali tayo. Pero tama na po sa... Dapat siya ay positive. Kung sa square of binomial, kumuha tayo ng squared ng first term at second term, kabalik tara naman ang gagawin natin sa perfect square trinomial. Ano ba ang ating gagawin? Yung last term at first term ay kukunin natin ang square root. Tapos yung middle term, i-check natin. Let's apply it to the problem. Kunwari, meron tayong d squared plus 20d plus 144. Yung d squared, check po to, na ito ay squared. Yung 144, check din po to na squared to. So, pag kinawa natin ang square ng mga item na to, lalabas ng square root ng d squared ay d. Ang kailangan natin i-check ay yung gitna. Dapat, lalabas siya na yung square root ng d squared at square root ng 144, kapag multiply natin sa 2, yung product ng dalawa, lalabas dapat yung gitna. Okay, try natin siya sa ating mga next na item. So, given natin ay x plus 20x plus 100. I-check natin to Square root ng x squared ay x. Very good. Ang square root ng 100, 10. Very good. So, check natin to kung ito ay tama sa middle term. So, square root nila, yun, tama. Kasi, 10 times x ay 10x. Times 2, 20x. Kaya, tama ang sagot. Let's try the next example. So, 49y squared minus 42y plus 9. Ang square root ng 49y squared ay 7y. Ang square root ng 9 ay 3. So, multiplying 7y times 3, ito po ay 21y times 2, 42y. Kaya po ito ay tama. Big check. Next, number 3. 25y squared plus 40y minus 16. Ito po ay hindi perfect square trinomial. Bakit po? Kasi kahit pa itong dalawa ay parehas na squared o perfect square. Kung napapansin niyo po, dapat ang pattern niya ay plus minus plus or plus plus plus. I'm talking about dito. Dapat yung first term niya ay positive. Positive, positive. Para sa case number 1. Sa case number 2, ito po ay positive, negative, at pos positive. Yung last term po, dapat laging positive. Ito po ay negative. Ang negative number po ay hindi perfect square. Tandaan niyo po lagi yan ha. Yun. Kailangan po lagi niyong i-check yung middle part kasi po yung middle part ang magdidikta kung talagang perfect square trinomial ang inyong equation or hindi. Misconception natin sa perfect square trinomial, sinulat ko dito. Yung first term and last term ng trinomial should be both positive at perfect squared number or perfect squared na expression. Ito po, example kanina. So, answer is no. Bakit? Kasi po, negative tong 16. Okay? Ang middle term po should be twice the product of the square root of the first term and the last term. Ang pinag-usapan po natin itong first term and the last term. Square root po nito ay y. Square root po nito ay 16. Ang sagot po, perfect square trinomial siya. The answer is no. Why? Kasi po, yung negative 4y, pag kinuha mo yung square root nito, y. Y. Ang square root po ng 16 ay 4. So, y times 4 ay 4y. Times 2, 8y. Dapat po dito, either negative 8y po siya o positive 8y. So, dito ang mali ay ito. Dito ang mali ay ito. Dapat ito ay positive. Dapat ito ay Either negative 8y siya 
or positive a to i. Okay? So, guys, thank you for watching. God bless and see you in the next video. For Don't forget to like and follow my, so, my page. Ito po yung aking page. So, behind your live TV. Yung hukutsip na yan, hindi ko po masyadong nagagawa yun eh. Pag marami ng video, matik yun. So, follow me in Instagram. Ito po yung aking Instagram. And also, my Facebook page. And my YouTube account. So, guys, I hope you learned something from me. God bless. See you on the next video, mga ka-relife. Ingat.